Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching from. It's nice to have you around. So I came on real quick. I came on real quick. Usually I don't I don't come on now, but I came on because I I had to say something really quick. So it's just a general topic like you know you guys know what I usually do when I come on sometimes I'm telling you things about the bible sometimes I'm preaching sometimes I'm just giving you life coaching as as a normal thing so I want to quickly say something so I've touched the video do not let anyone tell you about anyone you got to get to know people for yourself you got to get to know people personally so you might want to ask me, why did you say I don't have to let anybody tell me about people? Because so many people are how to destroy other people. So many people might not like that person. So many people might just want you not to have anything to do with this person. So many people might not even be happy that you know whoever it is that you know so many people might not even be happy that you are associating with whoever you're associating with so many people might not even be happy like you have people who are in support of you so i just want to let you know that you should not let anyone tell you about anyone you get to know people for yourself you have to get to know someone personally get to know people personally sometimes um how, how am i supposed to put this appearance are deceitful some people are really nice and their appearance puts you away the appearance chases you away the appearance stops you from getting closer to them so you just sit down and assume fine we all have our ups and downs right some days we are really sweet and some days we are really cranky depending on what and how we where and whom we are dealing with depending on how the day went for us depending on which side we woke up but above it all regardless of it all do not let anyone however you want to assume this however you want to take this do not let anyone tell you about anyone. 
you got to get to know people personally because the devil has its way. Like some people might not really want you to go have something doing with those people. They might not want you to go have a word with those people. They might not want you speaking to those people. So they try to like destroy them to you. They try to like put a demarcation. They try to like do something. You know, if, if, if I am so in love with you, if I am so free with you, and then somebody comes up and says, that guy is so dangerous. Is always jilting women. He's the type of guy that wants to rip from women. He never gives. He's stingy. With all of this coming through me, with all of this coming to me that I've heard about you, you obviously know that if I am dumb, you obviously know that if I am not well trained, you obviously know that if I do not have that confidence, that self-confidence of dealing with people, if I am not, if I don't have that diversity, of dealing with people coping with people i'm obviously gonna change why because i have heard some nasty things i have heard some negative things about you okay so now when you get to know people personally and people come and they tell you about people then you are just you are just like okay that's fine it's all right i've heard you but let me get to see things personally right before now i was in a relationship and people were telling me this guy when he goes in the, re in the when he's in a relationship is the worst guy ever he doesn't give money to the man to the woman and all of that but he the guy happened to be the best guy for me in all the men that i met this is a guy whom i was skipping this morning this is a guy who would ask me how much do we have left this is a guy who would do everything for me so it doesn't matter for the fact that somebody treated you badly doesn't mean that he's gonna treat everybody badly for the fact that somebody was mean to you doesn't mean that the person will be mean to me you gotta not sit down and listen to people if you sit down and listen to people in your journey to life you're gonna miss out a lot of things because that person that is mean to you today could turn out to be your best friend tomorrow that person that is stingy to another guy can be the best woman for you that woman that is so selfish that woman that is so cranky that woman that is so insane Excellent. could be the one that will worship you so what am i trying to say you gotta get to know people for yourself do not let anybody tell you about anybody just tell them okay this person was bad to you let me see who the person is gonna be bad to me right because there are people who treat people the way they come and i am one of them i treat people the way they come you're nice to me i'm nice to you you're mean to me i'm mean to you i don't give bs and i don't receive bs some people ask me what is bs so if you're if you've never heard me use those slants bs is bullshit i don't like to call the word bullshit so i just say bs i don't take bs i don't take bs and i don't give bs so if you're coming into my life to give me bs i'm not gonna welcome it like i quietly just walk away i am that type and once i walk away i've walked away there's nothing you're gonna do because irrespective of what people said about you, I gave you the chance to prove who you were to me. And then you still went the way of making people, you still went that way of proving the people right. It doesn't matter what people think. It doesn't matter what people say about you. But live an, live an impact, live a life of making an impact in the life of people that you meet. Make an impact in the lives of people that come across you. Make sure that whatever they say about you does not resemble you. Make sure that you live a life that when people have something to do with you, when people are associating with you, they have a reason to say, you know what? Somebody once told me that you are really mean, but come on, you are the sweetest thing I've ever seen. So you got to live that life for yourself. It's not about people. It's not about what people say. So today we are just targeting the point. Do not let anyone tell you about anyone. Get to know people for yourself. Okay. So why am I coming up with this topic? Something happened at my work. Something happened at my workplace on Wednesday. And I know that sometimes people could face this thing. People could face this thing. Like I always tell people, when I come on live show, I try to bring true life stories, like my story, things that have happened to friends, things that have happened to family members. Like I don't just sit down and cook up stories. I tell you real facts. And most of the things I tell you are my true life story because it's true. 
have gone through it and I know it's going to help someone to go through it. Life is a first. It doesn't matter. It, like even the Bible, even the Bible says that we should not query those bad days. When it is good, we do not query it, right? When they are bad, we should not query it. We cannot have it as smooth as a butterfly. Sometimes we get to get it as, as stinky as the bee. We're going to get it as stinky as the bee. We cannot always get it as smooth as a butterfly. No. Life is ups and downs. Life is with kites and all of that. That's what makes it life. It's in stages. So something happened on Wednesday. Hmm. Something happened on Wednesday. So I went into a new job. And I, I usually in Canada, when you get a job, somebody has to shadow you. So I went in for a shadow shift. And I was there doing my shadow shift. And somebody... After like five hours, two hours to the shift, almost being over. So we got in the vehicle and we were driving to somewhere. And then as the lady got into the vehicle, she turned on the car and then the phone came. You know, when you're receiving your voicemail, like sometimes you just let it play. So we got into the car and then the voicemail came and she received the voicemail. And it went like, um, be careful of that lady in the car with you, Kate. That was it. So I was on the phone. I was on the phone. I think I was reply. I think it was my counseling day. And I was actually counseling people. I was counseling people. So, and I was working. So I had to like sneak in and out on Facebook, replying my messages. And I was praying for people at the same time. So when I heard the message, I just ignored. I wanted to hurt my child. I ignored. And at the same time, I just, I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, no, you got to speak out. And then I told the lady, um, excuse me, I heard somebody told you to be careful of the lady in the vehicle. And I heard the name, Kate. Actually, I don't eavesdrop, but this time around, actually, I don't eavesdrop, but actually, right now, oh, my sister wants to be in my video. All right, I just talked to you. So, um... If you just want to be in the video, I can just tag you. So when I hear that, usually I don't eavesdrop. drop. Like you need to call my name for me to answer you. Because when I got into shift that morning, they were actually, you know, lady stuff, right? They were talking and they were talking. I just ignored them. And the lady said, I hope you're listening to this. And I said, oh, no, I'm not listening. It flew the, the, the black lady off. It, that, that put it off. And then, so she said that. Trying to make the lady that was training me, like trying to make her to be against me, like trying to lay her not to be free with me, not to tell me things. And the lady has already gone as far as telling me people that I need to be careful about in the job, people that I need to associate with and people that I don't need to associate with. And when she was doing that, she was telling me, I know I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I just have to tell you. So what am I trying to say? She did that, and then I asked the lady, why did she tell you that? And the lady is like, oh, don't worry, just forget about it. Anyhow, I do not believe it. You're such a nice person. You don't look like what she's saying. I don't know why they are telling me to be careful about you and all of that and all of that. So I do not know. And yesterday, I had the opportunity to work with the lady again. And I still had another chance to prove myself to the lady. And the lady told me something. She said, you know what my grandmother said to me? My grandmother told me whilst I was growing up that I should never judge anybody. That I should not listen to what people say about people and judge them. That I should get to know people personally. That is why I came up with this video. So you see how things work. You see how God does things. What she was doing was for her to try and destroy me so that this lady would not show me some things or this lady would not really, like, you know, she will not really open up to me or she will not be free with me. And my question is, why are Nigerians always fighting themselves when they meet people at job, when they meet people at church, when they meet people in a strange land? What is the fight for? Like, seriously, I do not get it. I don't know this Yoruba lady from no way. I have never crossed our path. We have never spoken nothing. I don't know her from any way. It was my first time of ever having an encounter with her. And throughout my shift, I did not even say a word to her. But for the fact that she has seen that I am black, I'm more prettier than she is, I'm more intelligent than she is, because what is her problem is inferiority. So I'm going to sit here praising myself because that is how she put it, right? 
Like, she just got intimidated by me. So I'm just here to encourage somebody. If you have ever been in that type of space, if you have ever been in that shoe, if you have ever been in that pot, don't worry yourself, girlfriends. Don't worry yourself, boyfriends. Sweethearts, see what happens in life. Just keep on being the good person you are. No matter if 99 people start, eh, 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 are against you, one person will always speak up for you. Just be nice. Don't listen to people because of what they have said about a particular person and you begin to treat them that way. No. Some of the things that people are saying could just be pure envy. It could just be pure envy, hatred, lack of self-confidence. And then they just go around saying this thing. Because there are some people that they just want to destroy others to feel good about themselves. There are people like that. They just want to destroy other people to feel good about themselves. If they don't destroy other people, they don't feel good about themselves. There are people like that. So you don't got to mind them. You just got to be who you are. You just got to keep doing your own stuff, right? Knowing who you are. And no matter how it is, somebody will always speak up for you. Because like... When people see you, like, I don't know about other people, but me, when I see a person, I follow my, I follow the first impression. I follow my instinct. What is my conscience telling me about this person? It's not what you are telling me because somebody could be bad to you and could be, could be the best person for me. Somebody could be mean to you and could be so respectful to me. It all depends, right? Whatever you bring to the table is what you are safe with. So when she did that, this is a lady that has worked with her for years. This lady doesn't know me. But this lady defended me. She said, no. I don't know why you're telling me to be careful. Because she is so nice. And there are a lot of them like that at my work. Like they get so intimidated. I don't know what it is about me. I only know that I am a, I am a grace-filled woman of God. I know that I am a born-again woman of God. I know that I am, a, I am a devoted Christian, a strong one for God. And whenever the devil, whoever does not have a good conscience, whoever is not a child of God, whoever is not of God, cannot like me because the bible makes me to understand that darkness and light has nothing in common so when i see those people putting up with those attitude i just know that this one this one is a devil incarnate this one is a devil incarnate <laughs> i just laughed and yesterday she walked into the shift and i was about to go i played maturity because by the grace of god god has taken it all of me god has taken it all of me i don't have time for malice i don't have time for hatred I don't have time to harbor people in my little heart. No. My heart is too little for that. I just waved at her. When she came in, I said, hello. And when I was leaving the shift, I said, hi, goodbye. And I left. That's maturity. When people are trying to put you down, don't put them down. Remember, don't put them down. The moment you try to put them down too, you are equal. Like they can overthrow you. Whatever it is, God is not going to speak in your favor. But when they try to put you down and you ignore them, that's when God speaks for you. So whenever you see people put up with this attitude, do not mind them. I don't know why my nose is so itchy. Do not mind them. When you see people try to put up with those attitudes, don't mind them. Just be yourself. But remember, never, never, never you try to judge anyone because of what anyone has told you. Get to know people personally. If not, you would miss the good people that were supposed to have pushed you up in your life. Why? Because you're listening to side talks. Why? Because you're listening to ignorant people. Why? Because you're listening to people that are so full of envious spirits. Why? Because you're listening to people who do not even know what to do with their own lives. Some people just get intimidated, especially women. I notice this in women. You see a fellow woman that is more beautiful than you, that is more intelligent like than you. You feel so insecure, thinking they are coming to take your boyfriend, thinking they are coming to take your husband. Come on, ladies. You got to develop a self-confidence about yourself. You got to know your worth. You got to know your stand. You got to know who you are. And stop being, getting intimidated about a fellow woman that has no business to do with you. I don't know what this competition is all about. I don't know what this curiosity is all about. I don't know why people envy. I don't know why people envy. Why do people destroy others? Is it to feel better? Trust me. I would rather be more careful of anyone who tells me to be careful of someone else. 
Because the way that person has told me to be careful of someone else, I really need to be careful of them. Because the same way they have told me to be careful of that person, is the same way they will go tell somebody else to be careful of me. You got to avoid people like that. You got to kill gossip. You got to kill destroyers. When they come your way, you tell them, you know what? This person has done me nothing. I feel this person is really nice. Like I can feel it in my spirit. Just let the poor lady be. Let the poor man be. Stop destroying people. And when you say that, trust me, they, not, they are not going to like you. But you have done the right thing in the sight of man and in the sight of God. People are just out to destroy others. People are just out to destroy others. And sometimes when these things happen, if, you're, if you don't have a thick skin, if you don't have a thick skin, you're easily going to give up. If you don't have a thick skin, you can even quit the job. Like, you know, it was very, it was very, 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 very disappointing because that was my first shift. And she made it really, like, she, she really messed it up. She really messed it up. And then she sits there. She sits there all day saying she does not give BS. You don't give BS, but you're giving BS to people. And you don't want people to give you back the BS. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't get people. I don't understand people. So... I just came on real quick to say it because it could be you, right? It's just an encouragement for you to get to know people personally and not with the illicit talks, not the illicit opinions of your co-workers, your church members, your siblings, your parents and all of that. Sometimes we want to get into marriage and this thing comes. People will come and tell you, don't marry this person. This person is like this. This person is like that. And you sit down and you listen to them. And eventually, when you marry the ones they chose for you, it doesn't work out. Meanwhile, if you have followed your mind and go for the one that you wanted to go for and not listening to people, probably you would have been having a happy marriage. Probably you would have been smiling. Probably you would have been fulfilled. So people, let's learn to follow our instincts. Let's go with our conscience. Let's go with what we feel that the Spirit of God is telling us. Above all, I tell people to pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because when you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a, is a director. The Holy Spirit is your guidance. The Holy Spirit will guide you. Like when you are sitting with negative people, the Holy Spirit will help you to control your mouth. Because people like that, you can imagine saying things about anyone in front of such a person. She's going to go sell you out. So we got to be very careful. We live in a wicked world. We live in a world where people don't want to see you prosper. Where people don't want to see you raise up. When people don't want to see you happy. When people don't want to see you make it. It's a wicked world, people. It's a wicked world. So you really got to be careful. Don't judge people. If you have been judging people, stop it. Get to know people personally. Not because I come to you and start telling you uh, what this person said, what that person said. It could be of my own evil emotions, right? I could, I could want to pay that person back for what they did to me, which is wrong. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to go through that way. So I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I came on real quick, like I said, because I just wanted to speak about this. Like it was really troubling me and I'm like, I better come say something about it. Somebody out there might want to hear. Somebody out there might want to hear. Somebody out there might want to hear. So get to know people for yourself. Get to know people for yourself. Get to know people for yourself. Don't let anyone tell you about anybody. Don't let anybody tell you about somebody. Get to know people for yourself. Get to know people for yourself. Get to know people for yourself because it's a wicked world. It's a very wicked world. You would see people say say some things like you're not you'll be you'll be so shocked you'll be so shocked you'll be so shocked you'll be so shocked people are just telling me to tag them to the video and that's what i'm doing so you guys have a beautiful night a beautiful day wherever you are and remember to be in church so have a good one that's all i wanted to share if you if this video i thought you shared with others and have a lovely time love you guys bye